Hey guys, it's General Heed here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we'll be doing something a little bit different again. And we'll be taking a look at another portable monitor and doing a review on it. So, today's monitor that we'll be taking a look at is the lapel monitor. It is a portable USB-C monitor that supports full HD 1080p resolution and is an IPS display. And of course, it's a USB-C monitor, so that's a, that's a really great thing for uh, monitors these days to have that feature. But the folks over there were actually kind enough to send me uh, one of these monitors to review, so let's take a look at it. So this is the box that it comes with, and inside the box, you get the monitor, of course, and what I like about this one is that it actually comes with a power adapter this time. Previous monitors I've looked at, uh, a lot of them don't come with the, the power cord, so this is definitely a huge plus. And of course it comes with the other cables that you can use as well. The trade-off, however, with this monitor is that you actually do need the power cord to power the monitor. Some previous monitors I've taken a look at, uh, some of them you could just power directly from your phone or something like that. Though, e even then, it was still better to just use uh, like an external power supply to get the best quality possible. But yeah, so let's take a look at the monitor close up. So, this monitor has a particularly uh, premium finish to it, and I really like that about it. The bezels, the edges, they're all pretty high quality uh, metal edges, not like plastic or anything. So it is definitely really nice. Now it is a little thicker than previous monitors we've looked at, but it's not like a huge difference and it's still very portable and it still comes with a kickstand that you can pretty much fold up as like a like a book. So it's basically like a laptop when you fold it up and it's, it's very portable, very light. And it's a 15.6 inch monitor. So that's a pretty good size for uh, watching videos or do gaming on. So what about the, uh, you know, let's take a look at the actual monitor in action. Now, in the previous video a while ago, I did show you guys uh, playing Halo on a uh, Nintendo Switch. And I figured for this video, you know, why not? I'll show you guys more of that because uh, there were some doubters in that video, understandably. So, you know, I'll do it again for this video and show, you know, Halo on a Nintendo Switch while docked on an external monitor to see uh, how well it works on that monitor. So, you know, here is the Switch running Android again and just gotta plug into the dock and the dock is plugged into the monitor. And as you can see, the monitor works great with it. The image pops up right away and uh, visual quality and everything is all great. Cause like I said, it is a full HD 1080p display uh, and IPS display as well. So that's uh, definitely pretty nice. But yeah, so this is once again Project X Cloud, the Android version of it, running on a jailbroken Nintendo Switch with Android installed on it. So that's how we're able to run, uh, you know, uh, Halo on it. Now, if you're wondering why the controllers are flashing, you know, normally that would mean that they're searching for a device, but in this case, that's kind of like a thing with jailbroken uh, switches running an Android. Even though that the controllers are paired, they uh. They, they still flash for some reason, but you know it is it is definitely connected. But anyways, now let's get right into Halo because this is a Halo channel uh, on the monitor. So while I show you guys uh, Halo running on the Switch on this monitor, uh, I do want to go over a few other specs that this monitor has and compare it with a few other previous monitors, uh, for example. So this monitor, like I said, it is full HD 1080p and it is also a 60 hertz monitor. It does have dual speakers on it, and it supports HDR, which uh, not every monitor does these days, uh, especially not every portable monitor either. So having HDR support is really great because HDR does make a huge difference. And when I like use it on my Xbox One X for playing Halo or other games, having HDR on does, you know, you do notice a big difference, and it does improve a lot. So much to the point where I, when I go back to like non HDR Halo, it's um. It looks so different to me, and like I, I don't even remember it like that anymore. But yeah, so dual speakers and HDR is uh, really great. And to be uh, specific with the weight, I said it was lightweight. It actually weighs exactly 1.76 pounds. So you know that, that's really light. It's lighter than a laptop, and it's easy to carry around in like your backpack or something. So if you want to game on a bigger screen while you're traveling, it's definitely something that you can definitely do without having to lug around a whole PC monitor, because that's the main benefit with this uh, portable monitor. And in addition to USB-C for video input, it also supports HDMI and it supports USB-C for power as well. 
So that's uh, one of the cool things. And of course, most importantly, it also has a headphone jack. I can't tell you like how much I still need headphone jacks on like all my devices these days. I can't stand devices without headphone jacks. So just uh, personally, that's, that's one of the really big things I like about this. Uh, but yeah, so the monitor is it's pretty responsive for gaming. Uh, it's I don't there's really no issues with it at all. It's everything looks great on it. It supports 16.7 million colors on a display, which is why it looks really great in HDR mode. So that's uh, that's definitely something to consider. And of course, it also comes with all the accessories you need, which you know is a must-have for new monitors. Uh, when things don't come with all the accessories you need, sometimes it's uh, can be a hassle to track down what you need. And this does come with it. it even comes with screen protectors as well. So that's uh, if, you, if that's something you like you like to put on your device, then you know more power to you. But yeah, so overall, I think this monitor is really great, and it's uh, it's not gonna break the bank or anything. It's it's pretty great value for its price. And if you guys do want to check it out, I'll put the link in the description below. So if you're in the market for a portable monitor that you want to use while traveling, or if you just want a third monitor sometimes on your PC that you want to you know move around often, switch around, then this is definitely a great monitor for you. But yeah, uh, hopefully you guys uh, did find this to be interesting. If you want to see more reviews, definitely uh, check back in the future.